Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the lost and forgotten LGA-1567, the bigger brother of the noun known X-58. Why, you might ask? Well, I was searching the web for more data regarding Westmere EP architecture, and I found this article on Wikipedia which stated that Westmere as an architecture stretched from 2 to 8 cores. That intrigued me and opened my eyes to the cutting edge of technology in 2009-2010. Okay, so before we go any deeper, I just wanted to do a quick history lesson. Back to the topic at hand. As I only knew the existence of a 4-core CPU, the i7-920, the existence of an 8-core one surprised me. Now, remember, this was the original Westmere architecture on the old 45 nanometer node. I did some digging and found out that indeed Intel had launched a secondary platform to the now known and loved X58, which was called LGA1567, and this is where our story begins. This platform was never designed for consumer use and server only. It was mainly meant for four socketed motherboards that could hold up to 64 threads on the original Westmere 45 nanometer process. Just imagine! how it would have sounded in 2009 to brag about your 32 core system to the plebs that just had a 4 core core to quad even today 64 threads is an incredible number now i was dumbfounded and did some more research into this matter as i knew there was an incremental improvement to the westmere architecture under the form of westmere ep more like a refresh on the newer 32 nanometer node so I started to look for the improved LG1567 processors and BOOM! Intel had done it. It managed to put 10 cores and 20 threads in a single chip with the efficiency improvement of the 32 nanometer transistor shrink. I was in awe as I could not wrap my hand around the fact that as far back as 2010, Intel was making 10 core CPUs with decent level of power usage at 130 watts. Okay, I know that is a lot for consumers and a 130 watt TDP chip is literally a heater in, the, in their house, but still, still. And there was it, the E788-70, a monster of a 10 core 20 threaded chip with four channels of memory and a sustained clock speed or known as base clock, of 2.4 GHz and a boost clock of 2.8. Now this could be paired with three more of these and get a whopping 40 cores and 80 threads and four channels of up to DDR3 1066 MHz. To put that in perspective, the norm back then was maximum four cores and that was the maximum for consumers up to 2009. This was really what dreams were made back in 2010 for the computer geeks and the LGA1567 platform was the equivalent of the TRX40 or the LGA3647 that now holds incredibly high core count CPUs. Also, the E788-70 has a whopping 30 megabytes of onboard cache, so much that the 28 core Xeon W3175X of yesteryear has only 8.5 megabytes of L3 cache more. Obviously, this changed with the rise of Threadripper and their insane amounts of L3 cache. We are of course talking about the 288 megabytes of the 3990X. Now, this platform has returned to the server market with the likes of the Xeon E7 range, with the Westmere EP follower Ivy Bridge EX and Broadwell EX, and the family of CPUs the Platinum NT180 and its relatives are in. The same platform as the 3175X. Also, I forgot to mention the price tag. Now, one of these puppies would have costed you a eye-watering $4,616 on lunch. And you might say that is very expensive until you look at the new relatives that cost as much as $10,000. Obviously, now this costs fractions of what they used to go for, but as I stated before, the CPUs only go in several motherboards and devs are expensive. That is, without the power supplies. I would love to test these CPUs and its younger brothers, but for now, I lack the budget and resources.
If you want, I will leave some links in the description for some of these CPUs and motherboards in case that you want to try to bring them back to life. I hope you learned something and enjoy the video because one, I learned about the forgotten platform of extreme CPUs and I felt like I had to share with you guys. That's the end of the video. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.